Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily screencast using Wii Video. Over the past few weeks, educators around the world have been forced to adapt to an online distance learning environment. And one of the things I see teachers asking about the most is how to create quick and easy screencasts. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make those in Wii Video. So the first thing you'll notice is once you're logged into Wii Video, you have two different options up top. You can either create a video or create a recording. So to do a screencast, you're gonna to wanna to select recording and that will actually populate the screencast option as soon as you log in. So you have three options. You can record from your webcam, record from your screen, or record from both. I'm gonna show you all three of these options. So if you wanted to record from your webcam, you would just select your webcam, go to next. Uh, you'll see it's setting up. I don't know if my audio is gonna match my mouth uh, because I'm using two different computers here, but you'll start, it'll give you a countdown, and then you will see yourself. You can see my green screen. You can see my son Spider-Man, like decals on the back. And you can just talk about the things that you want to talk about if you just wanted to do a straight shot with your students um, and just have them see you as you're talking. So that's option one. You can hit stop. You can watch it back. And then you can hit save. Or you can record again if you aren't happy with it. And it will populate it right in your video. Now, if that's all you want, and it's good to go. You can just click on finish up top and you're all done. But let's show you the other options here. Uh, so from inside your video, and this is what it would look like if you just created a video from that dashboard, you would go up to record and then screen. So this is just to do a pure screencast where it's gonna record your voice and whatever's on your screen. So we will record my entire screen. And again, you can choose between the application windows. You can see I've got a bunch of stuff open or your Chrome tabs. I only have one open right now. Um, so we'll click on share your screen. And again, you're gonna see the countdown and then it's telling you at the bottom that right now it's recording anything on your screen. So if I was to open up a new tab and say search for Khan Academy, right now everything I'm showing the students they are seeing. So we video is recording all of this. So let's say I'm all finished. I can go down to the bottom where it says stop sharing and then come back to we video and it's going to show you your video. You can watch it back. You can listen. If you want to record again, you can, or you can save. And then if that's as you want and you're happy with it, you can go to finish. You can also trim the ends. So if you wanted to, you know, start here or cut off the very end you can just click and drag to where you want to stop it or you can just click on your line select the scissors and then delete the part you don't want uh, there are other options which we won't get into in this video but if you wanted to add in music or any kind of sound effects you can just go up to the audio and drag music down so that it matches up and then you can have some light music in the background. You can adjust how loud or soft that is. And then let me just show you the third option. If you go back to My Media and click on Record, you can do Screen and Webcam. Go to Next. And now it's going to record both my screen. And again, now I have another tab open, so I can just record the Khan Academy tab if I wanted to. And it's gonna count me down. And now we are recording. So it's recording my webcam. It's also recording everything that I'm doing on Khan Academy. So I could do, you know, just if I want to show this counting and I want to show students how to get there, I could show them what to do. And again, they can watch like this video while they're hearing me or seeing me. And I'll show you what that looks like so we can stop recording. And you'll see now I have two different screens here. I have the webcam and the screen. So you can preview this and see what I'm doing uh, as the screen is moving. So let's save those. And now you'll see that 
when I watch it, you'll see my picture up in the top here, as well as you'll see the screen that I was screencasting. Now, if you want to change your video to make it either bigger or move it, you can select your video here, click on the little pencil, and you can just simply move your video. So if you want it to be in the lower corner or the upper corner, if you wanted your video larger, you can scale it up. Well, that's not too pleasant. Or you can make it really tiny. So again, you have all different options with how big or small you appear to do a dual cast. When you're done, you'll just go to finish, give it a title and export. So one of the reasons that I really love Wii Video is that it lets you create a screencast as simple as you'd like, or lets you add advanced features like music and title slides and those kinds of things. So Wii Video is my screencasting program of choice. If you're using Wii Video to do screencasts and you're using it in a way that I haven't shown you today, please leave a comment in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter at DanceBeta. I'd love to hear about how you're using this to create screencasts for your students or colleagues. Uh, and if you learned something today, please hit that like button and consider subscribing so that you see all of our videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.